Willingly. Okay. Oh, willingly, dude. Come on. Get a chair. In his video from March 2020 that was just released by a California judge, the recording shows the final moments of 38-year-old Edward Bronstein. That was, that, was, that was the last time. He had been pulled over by California Highway Patrol for allegedly driving under the influence. It's a court order. It's a court order. It's your choice. Okay. Uh, how serious is this? This is serious. His family is suing the police for wrongful death. You can just provide it and still say you don't consent. That's At first, Bronstein refuses to comply with a blood draw. Then he agrees. You're bringing the fight to this, not us. I'm not fighting it at all. I then just... have a seat and provide your arm. This is your last opportunity. Otherwise, you're going face down on the mat and we're going to keep on going. Okay, cool. We don't have no okay? You can't do it. Okay. Well, we do it willingly, as told you. Please don't. Okay. I'll do it willingly. 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 I'll do it He says he can't breathe. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Then Bronstein becomes quiet and still. Another minute passes, and officers continue the blood draw. It's not until another minute passes while they are still drawing blood that officers begin to question each other and ask if Bronstein has a pulse. Sure you got a pulse on him. Three minutes after that, they put a band-aid on the draw spot and turn him over. Get his airway open. There was no response from Bronstein, and yet the police did not administer first aid or perform CPR. Eventually, police removed Bronstein's handcuffs and placed him on his back. A medical technician then placed a pulsometer on his finger and began chest compressions, but by then, it was too late. Bronstein was dead. The Los Angeles County Medical Examiner's Office ruled Bronstein's cause of death as acute methamphetamine intoxication during restraint by law enforcement. The manner of death was listed as unknown. Bronstein's family, which fought in the courts for the public release of this video, is suing the police for wrongful death. They allege the five officers who held him down used excessive force and did not pursue medical care in a timely fashion. The video does not show where the officers placed their knee in restraining Bronstein. But again, they pinned him face down after he had already verbally agreed to submit to the blood draw. A family lawyer notes that Mr. Bronstein said 12 times on the video, I can't breathe. And at no time did any officers try to pull another officer off of Bronstein or try to give him some air. When the police finally flipped him over, he was lifeless. And instead of trying to save his life, the officers slapped him in the face to try to wake him up. The California Highway Patrol in Los Angeles is refusing to comment, citing the pending litigation in this case. Bronstein's daughter says her dad deserved a chance to have CPR done and to be treated like a human. Instead, she says the police treated her dad like trash. There is a compelling argument that if police, instead of being eager to assert their power over Bronstein, had instead been patient, he would not have been pinned face down and would not have stopped breathing. This is a horrible case on so many levels, and it speaks volumes about the institutional problems in law enforcement. Just because somebody may be on drugs and initially doesn't want to comply with police orders for a medical procedure shouldn't mean that police get to pin that person to the ground. In court filings, lawyers representing the officers have denied any wrongdoing. Still, the California Highway Patrol would be wise to settle this case. It's hard to imagine that any jury would see this video and conclude Edward Bronstein deserved the force that police imposed on him. Told you, please go. Okay, I'll do it willingly. I'll do it willingly. I'll do it willingly. I promise. I'll do it willingly. 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 Ah! I'll do it willingly. 
Were the police reckless and callous in their treatment? It certainly looks that way. I'm David Schuster. Thanks for watching.